Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a pretty cool one. This is from These Brothers. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about this uh, on the channel before, but uh, when I moved down to Florida, I was honestly looking for like stuff to gear geek out on, and I found a couple brothers, the These Brothers, and actually uh, Jason, and also Aaron, who is a um, ancestor. One of the, he was actually one of the first ones. Like he took early, early on. Anyway. Paul, it was a it was a bunch of us. It's really cool. Every week we just hang out, paste a bunch of commercial examples through VJCP, and just um, he got about it, which is super fun. And it really was informative for me uh, to continue my beer education and tasting and stuff. Uh, right after I moved down here from New York, um, obviously with COVID, <laughs> things stopped very quickly. But since then, Jason is head brewer. The Bees Brothers have opened up a brewery, and they're in downtown Stanford, smack in downtown Stanford. And again. I haven't told you guys already, if you guys ever come to Orlando, about like 20, 30 minutes north of like pure Orlando, or like downtown Orlando or something like that, um, Stanford's like just a fun, fun town, small town, but we got like four or five breweries, Tiki Bar, German Beer Hall, Craft Beer Beer Hall, uh, Whiskey Bar, all, the, all local restaurants, despite how packed um, Florida is per capita with um, Chain restaurants, I believe, might even be number one. The downtown Orlando area has no chain restaurants, all mom and pops. Just, you know, downtown Orlando, by the way, is very much like a regular downtown for many cities where it's like loud music and kids and clubs and all that stuff. Like, Sanford is really a fun place to like good drinking, good hanging out, good eating, good fun. So, recommend it. These brother, check them out. So, this is their lager, 5%. Uh, they've been open up about. Jeez, they've been open up for about a year now. So congrats to them. And um, this is the, his take on just like former San to be like pale international lager. I don't think it's meant to be German style, but let's see how that turns out. Beer has a pretty nice clarity to it. Wow, right? Like, yeah, see my finger through it? Like, that's clear beer. Um, he said there's a little bit of crystal in here, but like, I guess there's a hair of color. Um, it's not completely light gold. I mean, there's, it's, I couldn't even tell if it's crystal. Yeah, like it smells like malt. Um, it smells like really pale malt. <laughs> Almost yeah. yeah. For some reason, there's I don't know what it is, but like it has a it's cracked grains, really pale. But like, does this send me to Germany for some reason? Like, doesn't quite send me to Germany. Like, yeah, it's a fresh malt flavor, but like, it's just um. It's in that range. It's somewhere around, like, maybe you're in pale German lager, but maybe it could be international lager, too, right? That's tasty as all hell. This is a very naked beer. It says that, like, I mean, international lager is, like, one of the most... International light lager is one of the most stripped-down beers you can make, including American light lager. Um, this is nice. This is definitely in the realm of an international lager. Um, you get the full malt. It's not malty enough to push you into like Hellas, but it's like almost there. So it's actually it's actually quite malty. So like, all right, that was concerning. Let's find out what's going on back there. Anyway, I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, yeah, I mean it's just malt. Um, the carb probably from the crowling. This was by the crowler. Um, or not crawler, but like can seem or whatever. Like it's crawler with 16 ounces. That's what they do instead of the 32 ounce. Um, I think the carbonation could be um, slightly desired, but other than that, like I mean, low bitterness, crushable. Like this is a perfect beer for you know. Again, like mm, despite that many breweries in town, Sanford's probably not like it's Florida. It's still like. Budweiser, Yangling Country. This is perfect for that. It just has a little bit more malt. Um, definitely doesn't taste like uh, American light lager, but just like like slightly just hair of like bitterness, but like clean water profile, clean fermentation. Um, and just you taste just enough malt to get you towards. Honey, watch out! I don't know what's going on. Did you hear that? Okay. Anyway, sorry. Things going on. Um, the, but um, there's just a little bit of that kind of just like like raw, 
grainy kind of like flavor that like really push, pushes you almost towards Hellas, but then it's like not all the way there. So it's like right around Hellas and International Pale Lager. So really delicious. Um, yeah. Well crafted. There's just like a little bit of like honey malt sweetness in there. Um, not that there's actually honey malt in here, but like honeyed malty sweetness. Honeyed malty sweetness. Um, no bitterness really just because. Again, if I, I'm sure on draft, just a little bit more carb, perfect. Good beer. 86, 86. I mean, that's just a plain old delicious lager. I mean. And then again, like, if I had to just crush like a 20 ounce pour or like a half liter pour or something, this would be a good pick, especially with just like, just like right off the tap, like just slightly elevated carb, like, like there's, there's nothing getting in the way and it has the maltiness if you're looking for it, but then also doesn't get in the way if you're like, you know, trying to drink, like you're trying to smash some hellas. Like sometimes I find there's maybe a little bit more malt. It's right around there. So perfect stuff. Um, fine. Let's go with an 87. These brothers lager, fantastic stuff. Again, this is a naked beer. Like, there's nothing really getting in the way, and so clear. It makes sense, and it's exactly what you get want in lager, especially well crafted lager. So, perfect. Later.